Imagine you wrapped a steel cable tight around the Earth. 25,000 miles of steel. That's choking the planet, blocking highways, crushing forests, stopping ships. So you get a new order from HQ. Lift it up. We need to create a uniform air gap or HQ is going to auction off your elaborate Labubu collection for pennies on the dollar. So yeah, it's serious and you have a bright idea. Let's go to Home Depot and we'll find miles of extra slack. But the cupboard is bare and all you find is this single pathetic scrap of rope just 20 feet long. That's barely enough to tie a boat, let alone a planet. Oh, please don't take my Labubus. But you have your orders and the clock's ticking. So you throw that lame little string into your pickup and head back to the equator. You've got to lift a 25,000 mile ring off the entire Earth. So you cut the massive cable and you split in that tiny extra piece. You engage the stabilizers and pull the cable tight again so it hovers evenly off the ground. Now look at the gap between the Earth and the wire. How much of a gap is there? Surely not much. I mean, we literally just spread 20 feet of slack over the entire planet. The separation must be microscopic, right? Wrong. You see, if you walked up to it, you would find that the gap is exactly one meter high, three feet, enough to clear the rocks, enough for a cat to walk under, enough for you to crawl under, enough to save the mission. You fix the entire project with a scrap of rope. That's weird. You think, maybe the math is glitching. So you try the same mission on a basketball. You tie the string tight, and you add the same six meters. You pull it out, the gap still one meter. This feels like magic. Let's look at the source code. Let's look at the formula for a circle. Circumference equals two times pi times the radius. This equation for us is an iron law. It tells us the distance around the circle is locked to the distance from the center. You cannot change one without changing the other. Let's write out the equation for our new rope. The new circumference is the old earth plus six meters. The new radius is the old radius plus the gap. So earth plus six equals two times pi times radius plus gap. Now we do the algebra. We multiply out the brackets on the right hand side. This splits the right side into two separate terms. The first term is 2 times pi times radius. The second term is 2 times pi times gap. Look closely at that first term. 2 times pi times radius. That is literally just the formula for the Earth's original circumference. So we have the Earth sitting on the left hand side and the Earth sitting on the right hand side. And in algebra, if you have the same thing on both sides, they cancel each other out. We're left with the only thing that changed. Six meters equals two pi times the gap. And since two pi is roughly six, the math simplifies to six equals six times the gap. So the gap is one. 